Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro and today as always I've got an interesting astro topic for you guys. For those of you that might not be familiar I run a little astro blog called avt-astro.com and of course this YouTube channel so if you're not subscribed please do consider subscribing. Over the last 25 years or so I've had the privilege of owning over 100 scopes and more accessories than I could count and here's one of the scopes right here. Alrighty guys and gals, so we are, as the title implies, looking at an extra 6 SC. Uh, this would apply to an 8 SC as well, or actually really mo mo most of the SC mounts that kind of, you know, use the single fork arm, you know, type of design. So basically, um, I did a video a couple of weeks ago about the backlash compensation that you could do with these mounts, which really kind of helps out, you know, with, um, you know, essentially running this thing, especially like, you know, with the manual button control. So if you're having issues with, you know, um, with your mount, check out that video as well. But anyway, in this video, I wanted to cover another issue that, you know, kind of, you know, can pop up with these mounts. Um, and really, this is kind of more of a maintenance type of thing. So um, if, you know, if you bought the scope, you've had it for a couple of years, your mount could develop this, you know, it's not abnormal or anything like that. And that is basically that your clutch, right? So there's a clutch in here that allows the tube to slip, basically, if it gets bumped, right? It should be set to where, like, if you push on the scope, it shouldn't really move. Um, this one, I'd say it's kind of borderline. Like, it doesn't necessarily need to be adjusted. But for me personally, I kind of like it to be a little bit stiffer than this. So basically, you know, I, I could move the scope with just one finger. And that's kind of not that great because, um, like, you know, when you do the uh, go-to alignment, that type of deal, if you happen to bump the scope, right, you know, your calibration will be all off in that type of deal, and you'll have to redo the, um, uh, the alignment for the go-to. So basically, it's pretty easy to adjust this tension, you know. Um, the way that you do that is you, you'll remove your hand controller, you know, just kind of set that aside. And then we are going to now remove these three set screws. All right, I'll try to stay out of the frame as much as possible, but I mean, there's really not too much. So just remove the three Phillips screws. All right, and then the play, you know, just kind of lifts off. There isn't really, really any clips or anything like that holding it. So basically, um you know kind of set this thing aside and then all that we really have to do is just adjust this big old nut right here so i've got my trusty uh tool here my adjustable wrench i mean you could probably use some pliers really i don't think this is going to be too uh too tough to budge so i adjusted it to the right size i'm going to kind of hold the scope and i'm just going to snug this up just a little bit Okay, so you snug it up a bit and then you try the tension. So you don't want this to be like dead locked, okay? Because I mean, the clutch still has to work. So right now, like, I don't know if you remember, I was able to push it with one finger, right? And get this to move. Now, I'd say this is very solid. I mean, so yeah, so see, I was able to get it to move, but I mean, it requires a decent amount of, you know, tension now to do that. Um, I'll probably give it just a, a slight more, uh, you know, like, probably like another 10th turn okay there we go yeah and i'm happy with that so yeah that's all there is to it to get this thing adjusted Alrighty, guys well i'm not gonna challenge your guys's intellect i mean just installing this thing is just you know simply reinstalling those three screws and you're all done and now you know the scope it's very you know solidly on there uh the slip clutch still does work so um Actually, let me demonstrate that. So, like, if I really, you know, kind of try to move it, I still can. But this should be fairly tight, kind of like it is right now. So, you shouldn't be able to move with, like, one finger or anything like that. So, anyway, hopefully you guys found this video entertaining and useful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that pertaining to the next star scopes or any other astronomy type of stuff, uh, leave me a comment in the thing below. If you're not subscribed again, please do consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe when we show off this bad boy, the 24-inch dog.